I am officially a Dubai citizen. As of today, I am an official Dubai citizen, not coming back to America. Not coming back to America, I'm going to live in Dubai. I'm a citizen in Dubai. I, Muhammad my new rank, that's my new language. I love it in Dubai. So I'm a ready to rob us to rob I found a Jamaican restaurant. Look, finally, I just saw here. We're supposed to hear already. That's it. We find Bob Marley. I may have something else to show you. Know. One of them come and show you. Know. Holy pass it. Well, I have a surprise for the IT family. But do you like my do you like my new Arabic language? And, and do you like my new Arabic? This language, this is the language Arabic patwa. It's an Arabic patwa. So I, I, I come here and I, I write this language is the Arabic patwa. Oh, and I'm going to teach it. I'm going to teach it when I come back to America. I'm going to teach you the language. It is the Arabic patwa. All you have to do is put your tongue like this. Then you put English now. And you put patwa. Arabic patwa. You go. That's my language. So let me take you on a quick tour. One minute again. Watch your bag. I'm going to go with the money bag. This is a Bob Marley restaurant. All right. So this is my go on a quick tour. Now, I'm in downtown Dubai. Make sure to put on an accent in the IT family. Remember me just teach you. You roll your tongue. Rubai. So that is the Arabic patwa. Arr. So you, Mr. say I want to go a quick joke. A while ago, I come in at the restaurant. Give the man to me. In the Dubai language, you know. As I forgot to answer, Nikki say, "Oh, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not no Arab. He just put on the clothes for sure." The man say, "Oh, he he, he looks like a citizen. He, he looks just like one of us." <laughs> I say, Nikki, give me where is he? Anyway, that's the beach, the beach Caliph. Wait, my name again. Help me out here. That's the tallest building in the world. IT family, press up the... Sorry, darling, sorry. IT family, look what boss do doing. I have a gift for you. This is the very tallest building in the world. I think the name is Bitch Khalifa. I can't pronounce that. I'm going to drink three shots before me on that talk. So bear in mind, if the, if the accent sent kind of any language, if the accent and the English and the language kind of a little bit off, it's because I was drinking in the Jamaica. But so when me see... The Jamaica restaurant, it come like when, when you, when, you know, when you're well thirsty, you want some water. I didn't get where I was ago because from a come here, I'm not getting no good food till me find the Jamaica restaurant. But anyway, the accident kind of look a bit up. This is the tallest building in the world. That's the Beach Khalifa, the Glyph Khalifa. I don't know. Look for it. And this is downtown Dubai. You can look up this and say, hey, Miss Sipa RT live in Dubai, the tallest building in the world. Bim, some B word, I don't know, I don't want to make a mistake. So, as you can see, let me give them a tour again. Then I found Bob Marley. The food, Nikki, uh, we had a food in there, my wife, all right, man. So we just are going to a quick tour before the, um, the food ready. So we found Bob Marley in Dubai. This is a Jamaican restaurant in Dubai. And over here, we got another restaurant over here with a lot of Dubai Dians and all sorts of people. Uh, over here, we got a cab right there. And over there, we have building, building, and building. And right here, we have building, and building, and building. And right there, so we have more building. All of these are hotel building. All right. Looking down over that side, building. Looking over that side, building. 
And I think if you go right around there uh, is the is the uh, um the Dubai Mall. I was at the Dubai Mall, but only the two when me there Dubai Mall at like a four o'clock in the night. For Uno, I mean only now on the bed. Now bear in mind when you're there Dubai you can't wear anything in the you know my name fool you're gonna say you can say if you not plan for come nobody say, Oh me no wanna wear my shorts, me no wanna wear my dress so far. I don't see nobody in a body rider, but I see belly skin, I see dress, I see sharp pants, so therefore you can't wear what you want, I'm not going to trouble you. This is a, that building you have a buzz. That building you have a buzz, and every minute, them change the color, them, they do a, you see what I'm going with it? Just take a look for it. So we are going, and by the way, I have another surprise for you, IT family. Tomorrow we're going to visit. I guess where I go. I have a, yeah, yes. Tomorrow we're going to visit. It's seven. One of them floors that we're going to visit. I don't quite remember. But tomorrow we're going to visit that building you see there. So, but the thing about it is, when me did it, only now on the bed. So me go. Me still go do the live, and then wanna wake up and watch it again because it's your night now. I don't think you can wear the belly skin. Um, that dressing, you know, I like that, that the, the Dubai dressing and them sort of, But you know, you're not allowed to video people. So you see me hold up my phone, so when me and them I make, when them I look for me like eye contact, you know, me, me, me take up me and hold the phone and say, me, you can look in that look on them, but me not really. I look, it's like them I say, you have to ask for permission. I don't know, some something, but anyway. Look at me, fully Dubai citizen. Yes, man, fully Dubai. Did you know I'm a past Africa? I'm a past Baghdad. I'm a past. This is in the Middle East, you know. It family. It family. I am in the Middle East. I am in a Muslim country. I'm in Dubai. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And guess what? Anybody where I watch a live here, let me tell you something real quick. Who feel and let me let me want to give a message to the one them who don't have Jamaica. Me never want to say Jamaica for no feel a way. Me might not say it the right way, but me I said I want for all of the people them who believe say not not to go and feel right now and you are hope for the best. And you did they go through your bag of bag and things kind of rough and you don't want to live some life, but you don't see no way out. What you need to understand? You see, in life, you're not going to reach them places if you don't have the, in, the, the intention and have the mindset. And robbing people, killing people, telling life from people, fight against people, that, that, they're not going to bring you into them the atmosphere. They're not going to take you here. Take it from me. If you want to listen to me, you want to send me an advisor. You see, as long as you have a clean mind, a clean mind and ambition, no matter, all the way you see right here so is. Some of them say, but I tell you I live life, me I want to live it too. One thing me can tell you, do not limit yourself. Me never interested to come to Dubai. Me never even know me I come to Dubai. And me don't want to feel like say, I told me I make a bag of money make me come to Dubai. No. What I want to understand, you see in life, you don't know what the universe have in store for you unless somebody peep and tell you. So you have to just know one thing, just constantly be positive. One of the next things I want to tell you now, they have an old saying in America and Jamaica, say, work hard for where you want. When I go back and start work, I go educate you on that. Because that's one of the things where me used to be successful. Meaning, Jamaican people and American people say, you have to work hard for where you want. But look upon this. I'm not going to finish the whole topic for the night because I have to go back and eat. Look at this. The old saying, you have to work hard for what you want. I mean, no, there's no wall on the ear. But I'm going to ask you a question. Do you see the rich people them work hard for what they have? May I ask you a question. Do Bill Gates work hard for what they have in terms of going into the sun and all of them something there? Did Amazon work hard? Did Beyonce them work hard? No, boss. You still have to work hard. That is just the saying to keep you down. You have to be wise, RT family. I'm not telling you no fuck. I'm teaching you no facts. Sometimes I tell you no something. It kind of look a bit 
off. Look, if you notice a man scam or a man sell drugs, quick, quick time them rich is not something good. That is why they make prison for take them away, for lock them up. And it become a law for you not to do no scamming and not to do no illegal to get rich quick. Because the end of the day, police are going to lock you up. Them something they wrong. Me not promote it. But what I'm saying to you, it you has to be positive and common sense to be successful. You have to be positive and uh, uh, have common sense. But me not go dialogue on this and talk too much on this. But you must remember me that topic here. I say, RT, we need to talk about a successful topic there. Because the thing where me feel like a whole back most you know, in the Caribbean and in the world, you know, have this whole energy of saying, to be successful, you have to work hard. Hard, 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 hard. No, no, go so. They, they just say to you to be successful. Listen, I'm not going to say you're not working you now. You have to work. Don't get me wrong. But I emphasize upon the part where they say, work hard, 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 hard. You have to work hard to get where you are. You have to do two, four, five jobs. People are doing one job and them all right. Notice the facts. In America right now, people are doing all four or five jobs and them still not see the money. The only thing they must say they're tired. They must do three jobs. Them still. And then again, what you catch now? The more you get paid, is the more money come out of your pay. You, you get the understand? The more hours you put in, and the more money them take back. Is the more work you have, is the more tax them take. You, you get the whole energy. So it's like. You have to be positive and have to be spiritually equipped and have your subconscious ready to be successful. That is why most of these celebrities, they hear them talk about the universe and they hear them talk about certain things, you know, understand. You have to get in tune in a one and IT because the government them and them people are not telling you the right thing. And I'm not going to further with the argument here. Yeah. One day I may finish telling you more about it. Because more just go and ponder upon this. If you for be successful and you work so much job and the government might take so much tax out of it and you not see your money, oh you're going to be successful. And Donald Trump to us who was president, he not had no tax paper for sure. Catch it pretty no. Donald Trump who was president and most of them had no tax paper for sure. Just imagine. It. Back in the Jamaica restaurant. African man, you look like you want to take a move, man. You know, see, I might cook and I think, you know. Welcome back, Alaji. Welcome back. I mean, I mean, I'm in America. All right. Salam alaikum, Habibis. You want babies? Oh, well, I want. No. Habibis, man. Habibi, man, like. Brother. Uh, brother? Yeah. Okay. Habibi. He's, he's from Nigeria. Yeah, man. Nigeria in the building. Wagwan, well, yeah. everybody. Yes. I want to do now. Mm -hmm. do right, Sha. This is not good for Lagos, Sha. You hear me soon? I'm Lagos in this room. He, he, he's from Nigeria. Yeah, I man. asked him if he's going to scam the food. He said no. But let me tell you something, you know. So, um, you know, understand me, Mr. You know, understand me, Papa. You say hello, hello, say hi. I wanna do now. I wanna say hi. I wanna do. Me tell him to me friend and Nigerian people, you know, but you understand that. Uh, they say they love you. Yeah, man. I love that too. I wanna do all right, eh? I wanna do fine, eh? All right. Who know where they from? My page just came under my name from Nigeria. You see, I have nothing against no country because we have some people every minute, the RT, them family come in and talk about inbox me. The Nigeria they come from me. Now. I tell you, no, say, I have no problem with you. No. I know, yes, you say, I pick up on a friend. Stop scamming me because I love you. No. All right. Isn't that nice? Act yourself, is it? Oh, Lord, yes. Oh, God is coming soon. I love you food already. And you're, 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 you're. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, you have somebody that scam me from my page, man. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I show him risk. I want this sneaky. Every minute, me have a different juice. I want this now, Nikki. So, this is a juice that looks over here, sir. 
Mine ce să copiezi, să copia lucru cu aici, mă. Mă fred. Să copia lucru cu aici. Five dollar US, I don't play. Five dollar US. Mr. Nicky said, I said I when I don't play. I had to get Jamaica food, yeah, so five dollar I don't play. Man, I've been artist. 